Is that what you call just that's what I'm telling you? All these men like mainstream media about Ukraine and right? listen, is all stage. Don't believe it. It's all stage, it's an agenda. You listen to Joe Biden's talk speech two days ago. Did you listen carefully what he said? He said since the for, since the 1900, from the 1900 to the 1946, he said there have been overall 60 million deaths total. That's what he said. I don't. It's more than that, I believe. But that's the because they can't tell you it's more than that. Because when they say that, then people will be like, whoa, 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 what is it? So he said in his speech two days ago or three days ago that from the 1900 to the 1946. The casualty, the death of humankind on the earth was like 60 million. And he says, since that time, he's about he's telling you something that they're bringing up. He says, since that time, there have not been such catastrophic on the earth yet. But he said, things are about to get shifted. That's what he said. He said, things are about to be shifted. How he know? I mean, he knows something. You see what I'm saying? That means they're plotting something. They got some new thing coming. Wake up. Wake up. I'm not telling you anything. Be ready spiritually in your spirit. Be, be ready in the spirit. Make sure you keep in the commandment. You're resting your good regardless of what you go through. Why? I'm going through trial and tribulation. I'm being persecuted. There is so many for so long and I'm still going through. But guess what? I'm not giving up on the most side. Okay? We will continue to work through it. Whatever is going to happen, hey, we, we want to continue. We want to endure until the end. Because if I don't endure until the end, I cannot be saved. I cannot be saved. So we must endure, brother and sister. There's no need to give, oh, Lord, I know it's too much. I know it's a painful. I understand. I've been there, and I'm still there right now. But guess what? we got to remember the promise of the Most High. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. Let us walk. Let us continue. It's hard. It's for a, it's for a time. Then we'll be revived. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Kwame Shala. Rise up, Israel. Rise up, Israel. Kwame Shala. Right? So, it's all a game they're making it feel like. No. Don't fall for that narr the narrative on the TV. Don't believe it. Do not believe it. Don't believe it. You focus on the most high. The Lord, the commandment. And make sure that you're watching. Be prepared spiritually. Not physically. Don't pile up water into your house. Don't pile up like diaper and ain't going to save you. Okay? And I'm not telling you not to do it. If you want to do it, if the most high give you the spirit, you do it. But keep in mind. What is the most important, brother and sister? You so-called blacks are telling anything. What is the most important that's gonna save you in this time of evil? The time we're about to go through, what is going to save you, brother and sister? Please take heed. What is going to save you? Your righteousness. Your righteousness is going to save you. You keeping the Lord the command. You being repented, right? You being out of the world. Leave the world. Okay. Leave the world and stop celebrating pagan day. Stop doing evil. Stop lying. Stop stealing, man. Keep the Shabbat. Do righteousness. Be ready spiritually. Learn to fast. Maybe you can fast for three hours today. Maybe next week you fast for what, eight hours. Maybe the week after that you fast for the whole full day. Maybe two weeks later you fast for what, maybe two days. Learn to fast. Be ready. Don't always rely on the food. No. Don't always rely on the food because famine is in the corner. Right? You see the French president just told Judah, Benjamin, and Levi in Africa there will be a famine. For 12 to 18 more, how he know? Because he's the puppet for the new world order in the European Union. He is that puppet for them. Emmanuel Macron. He's that puppet that they set up for the whole Europe. He's the one representing the whole Europe. That's why they sent him forth to Vladimir Putin, thinking that he can seduce him, try and convince him, try and bring him to, to, to in the bed to have sex with him, thing like that. But Vladimir Putin said, Come on, buddy. I'm too old for this, man. He said, You're my baby. I gotta teach you how to do this thing. You see what I'm saying? So they're plotting something. And this is not to scare you. But we can be scared. But we got to be ready in the spirit. And be, uh, be waiting upon our Lord. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash. Man. For the Lord said he would do it. Right? He said. And he's gathered out of many people. Against the mountain of Israel. Which have been always wasted. We've been always wasted. Right? But it is brought forth out of the nation. We will be brought forth out of the nation. Isaiah chapter 11. There's so many precepts about it. Right? But, you know, I just need those two. Just to, to break it down. If you don't know, like I use like three or four. I use, I use uh, Jeremiah chapter 16. Right? And read from verse 14 through 15 or through 16. I use Isaiah chapter 11, 10 through 12. And I use the book of James chapter 1, verses 1. And I use First Peter 1 and 1. That is decent. All right? Let's continue. You say, and they shall dwell safely 
all of them, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Isaiah chapter 11, 10 through 12. So, wrath shall be coming against her after the Israelite, after the so-called black satin and native, that will be saved, the elect, the winter, after will be brought back into the land. That's the time Russia and Ethiopia, Libya, and Iran, they're going to make, how do you say, uh, uh, they're going to make like a, uh, uh, a union, right? A union, right? A congregation to come against us. At that time, Amashiach will be our king. Amashiach will be our king. This will happen. This will happen in the time of Amashiach. So let us keep in mind. Right? Verses 9. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. So they're going to come on the land as a storm. Right? Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. They're going to cover Jerusalem. They'll be coming to cover the land. Jerusalem. Who? The Russian. The children of Gog and Magog. Right? The chief of, of Mechek. Right? Tubal. And the list goes on and on. You see? Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. So like, excuse me. Thou and all that bent. So the Ethiopian are going to be in, in cohort with them. The Iranian, the Libyan, they are going to come together. Right? And they'll be under the children of Gog and Magog, the Russian. And many people with thee. Right? Let's go in the book of Joel 2 and 2. Joel 2 and 2. Right on point. This is the book of Joel chapter 2. And verses 2, right? So, you got to keep in mind. There's a book of Joel, chapter 2, and verses 2. It reads, A day of darkness and of gloomness, a day of cloud and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people and a strong. There had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So, you got to understand, the most I the day he's going to do this thing, that he's going to allow the Russian to come against us after we be brought back from the soil to the land, promised to our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that the Russian, right, or the children of Gog and Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tuba, they're going to make war, a union, right? They're going to make like, like you talk about like G, G4, because Russia, okay, let me see, it's Russia, Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya is going to call it J4. Or G4, like they say G20, G7, it will be G4. Right? They will be for they will, they will be under Russia. Alright? So keep in mind, the day the Moses is gonna do will be a day of darkness. Alright? And of gloominess, a day of cloud and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, the nation, a great a great people and a strong. There had not been ever. So we're gonna take over them. Right? The Moses will bring his terrible judgment. Terrible judgment. Unto who? The hidden of all these nations. And they're going to come together to fight us. Right, let's, let us continue. He said, That said the Lord Yahweh, it shall come to pass, it shall come to pass, okay, that at the same time shall things come into the mind, into the mind of the children of Gog and Magog, right? Of the land of Gog and Magog, right? And thou shalt think an evil thought. So the Russian, right? The Russian. Along with the bands, with the Iranian, the Ethiopian, the Libyan, they're gonna think evil. They're gonna say, you know what? Let us go take over them, man. We're gonna go, we're gonna go fight them, we're gonna go kill them. Same thing, like the way they're doing right now, right? Watch this. Write this, watch this, right? Let's go to 36 and 4, right? They're gonna plot to do something evil, right? Who? The Russian. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 4. Ezekiel 36 and 4. Therefore, ye mountain of Israel, right? Ye mountain of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. That said the Lord Yahweh. The mountain right here stands for the twelve tribes. The twelve tribes. Okay. Therefore, ye twelve tribe of Israel, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. That said the Lord Yahweh to the mountain, into the hill, to the river, into the valley, into the desolate waste, into the city that are forsaken, which became a prey. And the reason to the residue of the hidden that are on the bow. The, the hidden that took over our land right now, right? You got a synagogue of Satan, right? Revelation 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9, right? And also we can go in, uh, I think it is a, is a funny, uh, Zechariah say, a, a, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, right? Okay? So let us continue. <laughs> you, see, you see, therefore that said the Lord Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the hidden. So the leftover, who? The residue, the leftover will be who? 
the children of God can make up so-called Russian or leftover of the Ukrainian, the Kazakhstan, the list goes on. All those people, they're going to come together with who? The Libyan, okay, the children of who? Put, and the children of, of uh, 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 Kush, right? The Ethiopian, and the children of, of, of uh, 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 the Mid, the, the Iranian. They're going to come together, right? Watch this. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the hidden and against all Idumia who is so Iso Edom, right? It's a Greek word for Iso Edom, right? So called white people today, which have appointed my land. What did they do? They have taken the land of the Mosai, 1948, man, that the League of the Nation, okay, right? The Declaration of Balfour, if you don't know, go on Google, look it up. The declaration of Belfort, the declaration of Belfort that they put the synagogue of Satan in the land in Jerusalem in 1948, 1948, 1949, right? That's the time they start appointing the land for them, our land for themselves, along with the so-called Arabs, okay? Keep in mind, he said, which, he said, all I do mean which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, their mind. With despiteful mind to cast it out for a prey. There we go, man. The Mosa is about to overthrow all of you out there. You see, Bible prophet, they don't talk about that. They want you to focus on the Ukraine. Guess what? It's all about you, my brother. It's all about you, so called blacks are telling you. Believe me, don't, don't follow them. Those narratives on the TV that Joe Biden is telling you, or the NATO, blah, blah, blah. These are Justin Berg, James Berg said this, blah, blah. Don't believe it. Don't follow that. Go to the Bible. Gain wisdom. Watch video. Right? It doesn't have to be my video. You can watch any any camps, any brother video you want to watch. As long as the brother is teaching you righteous, the Lord, the commandment, or praise beyond to the most. It's all about Yahweh Shabbat Shiach. And as far as it's not about me, it's not about the camps, it's not about the brother, it's all about who? Yahweh Shabbat Shiach. He's the one that sprinkled his blood for you and me. Not the camps, not me, not my father, not my mother, not the pastor, not the president, not the Democrat, not the Republican. They didn't sprinkle their blood for you. Who sprinkled their blood for you? The Mosai through his son Yahweh Mashiach. He did it. So keep in mind, don't follow the narrative. Don't believe it. Whatever they tell you is all lies. Don't believe it. Oh, well, Russia, Ukraine, man. Don't fall for that. It's for your salvation. Everything happening is Jacob's trouble. For you to be brought back to your land, Jerusalem. We got to go back to the land. Don't you want to go back to the land? That for your honey and milk to do righteousness? Don't you want to go? We want to go. We want to go. Okay. We want to go. Okay. That's why we're striving every day. We're working on it. We're trying to stay in the spirit the best that we can. Okay? Some of you are thinking that, like, well, you know, we don't want this to happen. We're going to pray for Babylon the Great. You're going to pray for Babylon the Great to save Babylon the Great? From the prophecy of the Moses, from the will of the Moses? Wow. Okay. Wow. So you, wow, you, you're very, very mighty. Wow. So you're more powerful than the Moses? So you're going to save Babylon the Great? You're going to save uh, all these wicked people so that they can destroy the righteous? Is that what you plan to do? Is that your will? But guess what? Your will is not the will of the Most High, man. So the Most High will blow you out from his book. It's very simple. It's very simple, man. You go against the will of the Most High. You're resisting the Holy Spirit. War unto you, man. Wars. Wars and wars unto you. That's why you sell out there. And many of our people that still got that plantation, slavery mentality, you still got that plantation, that sugar cane, that cotton field mentality in your mind where you're trying to save the oppressor. Man, you be found, man. You be trust true. Yeah, definitely you be trusted. Man, listen. And you know about this weakness, the weakness in this place, in this kingdom, the weakness from this hidden, the thing that they be doing against us before 70 AD until this very last day, that they've been oppressing us for more than 3,000 years. I'm not just I'm not just talking about Babylon the Great. No. We've been spilling scattered for so long. It's beyond. 2,000 years ago, we've been oppressed by all these hidden. And you think it's just going to continue? Come on, man. We need salvation. Okay? Let's continue. It really say, right? It think evil thought, right? The evil thought they got, the most I'll confound them eventually. The most I'll confound it, right? Let's go to Psalm, Psalm 36, right? Psalm 36 and verse 4. Psalm 36 and 4. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 36, and verses 4. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 36, and verses 4. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 36, and verses 4. And he read, Psalm 36 and 4. He deviseth 
he devised a mischief upon his bed. Who? The heathen. The so-called Russian, right? The so-called uh, 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 white people, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Arabs. They devised evil. They're plotting things against the Israelites, right? Let's read. He devised a mischief upon his bed. He set up himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred no evil. They don't hate evil. They want to do more evil. He came on a TV say where for the past, since 1900 to the 1946, only 16 million people died. But he said something will be about to happen where it will kill more than 60. Because said, since that time, we have not seen such things happening. So he said things are about to shift. That's what Joe Biden said. Things are about to shift. I'm like, he's real. He's ringing the alarm. He's ringing the bell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. But are people sleeping there? They just, they just, they just daydreaming. They're waiting for the welfare check. They're waiting for the EBT. They're waiting for help. They're waiting on the government. So when you're out there, I see you on Facebook. You try to tell people you want to invest in Bitcoin. You want to buy this. But man, we try to get out of Babylon. Okay, don't be asking me if I heard of this stock. I don't want to buy no stock. I don't need no stock. I'm trying to get.